In this video, I'm going to share how I've learned and actually apply the most meta skill you can learn in any business, basically, and that's creating systems and operating procedures. So the step-by-step -step instructions, how to do certain tasks, because really then you can get your time back by giving this to other people. And so they know how to complete this task. And so the, then you can get your time back and you can focus on more important things. So the most meta way you can learn this skill is by actually creating a standard operating procedure for creating standard operating procedures. And so that's what I'm going to teach you today. And that's what I've kind of learned. And I'm going to share my knowledge from reading books like A Myth, Buy Back Your Time, Clockwork, things like that, which are good books that also you should be learning on top of this skill. There's additional resources. You can actually learn how to create standard operating procedures and get your time back. So to create a standard operating procedure, you first kind of need to create a document or a template. So we want to create a new template. That's our first thing to do. So I've got a template here that I, you can use. And basically I used Notion to create my standard operating procedures. And first you kind of have to create some sort of category of what department is this standard operating procedure for, or it's marketing, sales, product, finance, operation, something like that, admin as well. How often? you're going to be using standard operating procedure or how often is this task done? Is it done daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly? How often are you doing the task? And you can also add, you know, who was edited and who did it. The main thing you want to actually write down first is what is the point of the task? What's it going to show you and what are you going to learn to do? So this guide will show you how to, what's the outcome. So post a video, create a standard operating procedure get more clients, something like that. What's the end result you're going to get from doing these step-by-step -step instructions and actions. You then want to have a checklist of what are the, like the five to 10 most important things you're going to be doing. So for this creating a standard operating procedure, I've got six main things that I'm going to go through to actually create one. Same thing. You're going to have five to 10 main points that you want to go through. These aren't the step-by-step -step instructions, but they're the main things that you want to focus on doing. And then what also are the tools needed to get this task done? So for creating a standard operating procedure, we need Loom to record myself doing the task and you need Google Drive to store the videos. Once you've got the main checklist that need to be done, you know the tools and you've written them down. We then want to go through and the video demonstration of actually doing the task. Text explanation if you can't record the video, but you can give someone a step-by-step -step instructions like a manual. And if things goes wrong, or if they need more help or more instructions, where they can get more resources to actually complete the task. So that's what a template should look like of a standard operating procedure. Once you've created a new template, when you're trying to create a standard operating procedure, you then want to film yourself completing the task. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm showing you how to create a standard operating procedure and I'm filming myself at the moment. And usually you film yourself three times doing the task while also talking through what you're doing and why you're making certain clicks and decisions while you're doing the task. So then when someone else comes and watches you, they know why you're doing it and they know what you're doing. And film yourself three times because maybe the first time you don't cover everything you do it again and you've missed out a few details. So try and record yourself doing the task three times and explaining what you're doing and why you're doing it. Once you've filmed yourself completing the task, you could use Loom. That's what I use. You then want to go here. So I've created a video on how to create a standard operating procedure, click more actions, and then you want to download the video. And that's where you can then store it on somewhere like Google drive. And so what you can do is you, I had a new file upload and then you can import the video. And then once the video is basically been uploaded onto Google drive, you can share it, copy the link, head back to your template and then add the Google drive link. And then you can have a, backup video in case Loom recording doesn't work and you've got somewhere else to save the video. Or you could also embed it into something like Notion, like what I've done here. I've embedded the video in Notion. So then what you can do is you can copy the link, come back to your template, click embed Loom and then paste the link and then embed the link. And then what that does is that 
links the video that you made of how to actually do the task. So then you've got the video demonstration in the template. So people can just watch the video and learn how to do the task and what you're doing and why you're doing it. And you're explaining everything. So you download the recording and add it to Google drive. Now we've also embedded the loom into the template and then add the Google drive recording down into like video two, which we've done. And then if necessary, add more information on how to actually complete the task. So potentially it's, you need a text explanation because you can't actually record yourself on your screen doing it. You've got to actually write it down. So create a manual for how you actually do the task. So when you get a set of instructions for how to set up your bed in, from Ikea, they give you a set by set instruction manual, or when you're creating Lego sets, they give you instructions of how to build the set. Same thing here, we're creating a text explanation step by step of actually how to do the task and then add any, if anything goes wrong, go to this website, watch this video, add additional resources. Say for instance, if the loom recording doesn't work, go to video two, which has the backup recording in Google drive. If they need more help then they can go on to how to install loom on Chrome, they can use, go to this link for how to use loom, add any additional resources people may need to actually complete the task. So that's how you create a standard operating procedure. It's pretty straightforward and it's the best skill you can learn because you can then outsource tasks and give people, you know, delegate the task by giving people the set of instructions and manuals that they need to actually complete the task and do it effectively. Because you give them the checklist, you give them the tools, you give them the video, the set by step instructions of how to do the task and they should be able to do it themselves. And then it just becomes to managing the people. And that's the next skill you've got to learn.